Welcome, friends, syncretists and lovers of truth. Today we have a subject which is <clears throat> pretty much on most people's minds around the world, in one way or another, in some shape or form. And I have special guest Carolyn Mansfeld from Australia, I believe. New, New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. yeah, okay. The accent is similar, so I, confu I got confused. I'm very sorry. And we're going to be doing with um, dealing with a subject which is dear to my heart because I've suffered it all my life. Heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metal toxicity. As you can see to her right, she has a microscope. So, um, and it looks very uh, clinical there. And it looks like you've, <laughs> you're doing it your studies you're not just um uh, flying off the seat of your pants and just um i guess doing research of other people you're doing your own research there and you have your own findings so you're going to be sharing um, with us what you've been finding in uh, i guess um uh blood people's blood etc and um sharing what you can do to remove these heavy metals so welcome, Caroline. Thanks for sharing with us. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank, thanks so much for having me on. Just absolute pleasure because I just feel like the information that I've gathered over the last couple of years is really important for people to see. Um, it's not hearsay. It's not something I've heard about. It's something I've you know done myself and um, videoed and recorded and taken photos. And yeah, it's it's. It's just important for people to get as much information as they can to make you know, discerning decisions about their health going forward. So I've compiled today um, just a short presentation um, with some videos and images. So let me just um, share the screen with you now. There we go. Okay, let me just make that big. Right, I can see that. Okay, lovely. So um, where do I start? Well, about 18 months ago, somebody posted online that they noticed a antibiotic capsule uh, was magnetic. And I decided to replicate that study myself. So I found an old capsule, it's a floxacillin uh, antibiotic from 2013 in a medical cabinet. And um, I decided to check it out. So this is just a short video of my findings. So you can see, yeah, I was very surprised. The black end of this antibiotic capsule was magnetic. Wow. Yeah. So I decided to then break open the antibiotic capsule. I'm just showing you exactly how the experiment went so you can see firsthand. Just to double check, it was the black end. Yeah, so it's quite, quite shocking. So I decided to take that a step further and dissolve this capsule in some water because I wanted to try and look at what this capsule was made out of under the microscope. So I put it into a bit of distilled water. and just dissolved that slowly. It dissolved, just go on to the next video. So it didn't take long at all. And then the black capsule completely disappeared. I decanted it into another glass that had a, it was slightly thinner. So I could put the magnet up to the outside of the glass. And let's see if these particles or whatever was going to appear would appear. So 
So you will see this is just a standard magnet. It's a bit stronger than a fridge magnet. Nothing medical grade. And look what appears. These black particles out of the solution. So I was really happy that this happened because I thought, great, now I've got something that I can actually look at under the microscope. And then just to show you just a little bit up close so you can see these particles a bit better. It almost looks like these little fish swimming around. <laughs> but you can see that they are quite separate. Yeah, I've seen many of these. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So to try and get those particles out of the spoon, they would they just disappear. So I had to literally put the magnets into the glass and get them to pop up onto the magnet itself. Yeah. To collect them, you'll see, boom. Wow. And then what I just want to show everybody is that that is the black goo. Here we go in this next picture. That's from one antibiotic capsule. So can you imagine if you had to take a course for two weeks, you know, a month of antibiotics, um, how that would soon add up in your body, this black goo. Um, you're wondering, well, what is that? You know, why would that be there? So I literally put that goo on a slide um, and put it under a microscope. I added a little bit of the water from the solution so we get a bit of um, movement so we can see it moving around, which I shall show you in a moment. And then the first picture that came up when I put the microscope to show on the um, screen was this <laughs> and i know some people have seen these these videos before but i mean this is the image that showed me and i just knew immediately this was you know very malevolent because it just looked like a great alien and i've never seen anything like this before in the microscope and this is the image just up close and uh it just actually quite shocked me it made me feel quite sick so I thought, right, let's, let's go in for a really good scoot around and see what we can find. So what I did find um, were these magnetized particles. There was a few different types, well, two different types to be specific. So these are the first ones that I found um, when we zoomed out a bit. And the reason they're moving is because I'm moving the magnet above the slide on the microscope. They're not moving by themselves. So, and they're highly magnetized because I would go back about five to eight inches away from the, from the microscope and it would still be picking up that magnetic pull. So really, really highly magnetized particles. So that was one type of particle we found. And then we found another type of particle, which was more like sheets, you know, flat and like a gray black color. And they moved differently. And that was at about 400 times magnification. So then I went in for a closer inspection and you can see how they move, how the detail of them, it's almost like they're like a lattice or, you know, flat sheets. And the little bubbles you can see in the background, that's part of the antibiotic, you know, in the solution. But you can see how flexible they are, yet strong, mm -hmm. you know. So I did some research um, and I was reaching out to the community I belong to, Dr. Christina Ram from the Root Brand. And I've since had a chat to um, Dr. Felipe um, Van, uh, Van Bergen. And he was one of the first um, doctors to discover the graphene inside the thing that everybody's having. Um, so I did some research, you know, speaking to these people, and I've had it confirmed that the first 
uh, particles that we saw were what we called iron oxide uh, magnetized nanoparticles, which is these things, you know, which we saw. We go back to this first sample, okay? And these are put into pharmaceutical products because it, we're told it's to help get product into cell. But we know that displaced iron in the body is very, very um, toxic uh, for the body. And especially if it's non-heme iron, you know, this type of iron, it can cause blood coagulation, clots, you know, um, thrombosis, all sorts of things. It's going to cause um, the blood to coagulate um, if we have too much of this in our body, um, you know, such as the high iron. So it's, you know, it's really, I can't really see the benefit of putting this inside um, these products. And then when I did some more research, and I was discovering what graphene oxide looks like under the microscope. And these are definitely, you know, the same images, basically. Um, and as I said, I've, I've been showing these images around to the community that I belong to. And, you know, verbally, I've had this confirmed that, yes, they have been putting um, these products into pharmaceuticals for a number of years. So it's really just to make everybody aware that, you know, uh, these things are there inside things that we're we're ingesting um but uh speaking to doc, dr christina ram you know from the root brands they have an amazing product called clean slate which is a zeolite product and a zeolite goes around um, the little crystals um, of clinoptilolite crystals and they go around the body um, and they they have a highly um uh, negative charge to them and all these uh, heavy metals um, have a very highly positive charge. So what they do is they go around the body and they start attaching themselves to these heavy metals and help pull them out. And, you know, I was I really wanted to do my own little experiment with Clean Slate um, to see if I could see these beautiful little crystals attaching onto any heavy metals, you know. So what I did was um, I decided with the solution I had from the antibiotic capsule, to put some of the clean slate into the actual solution and to see, you know, what effect that would have on these positively charged magnetized particles in the solution. So I left the solution for 48 hours and then I did the same with my magnet. I put it up to the glass to see what effect it had. And if you remember from the first video I just showed you, these particles came very quickly and they were very highly attracted to the magnet. Sorry about this, this is just home video <laughs> footage. And you can see that 48 hours later, these particles have lost their charge and mm -hmm. they're not as attracted to the magnets. It's a you know, much slower pull. So then I decided, well, let's put this solution with the clean slate and the uh, magnetized particles underneath the microscope, and let's see what we can see. So I was hunting around um, because I, what I wanted to see was these one of these clinoptilolite crystals, which I'm about to show you what they look like under the microscope on their own, attaching to one of these particles. And this is what I finally found. Um, so the, I'll show you in a moment, but the clinop light, the clinop tiller light crystals from the clean slate are a beautiful, um, sort of St. Germain hue to them. They're a beautiful color under the microscope. And then the, this is the actual, um, iron oxide, one of the iron oxide particles, um, the bubbly ones, you can see it has actually attached on to the crystal from the clean slate. And I was just, it was just so amazing to find that because I did hunt around for about, you know, a, a number of minutes to try and get that picture. And I just think it's the most beautiful picture because for me, it shows that Clean Slate does do its job. Um, also, I, I see clients and I do heavy metal toxicity tests with them, you know, through laboratories. And we do sort of like provocated urinalysis tests to see what the heavy metal load is. And anyone who's had heavy metal, high heavy metals, I've suggested that they go on the clean slate protocol, just taking clean slate 10 drops twice a day and retesting again three months later. And you can see that all the markers do come down taking clean slate. 
it's such an effective way to get the heavy metals out of your body without it. Um, the usual detox protocol for heavy metals is a product called DMSA, which pulls out not only heavy metals, but it pulls out all the minerals as well. And then it, it sort of stirs things up. And then you need the chelation agents as well to pull out the heavy metals that have been disturbed. And they, they could be likely to go and settle somewhere else if you're not collating correctly at the same time. But with clean slate, um, you don't need to do any of that. It's just so easy. You just take 10 drops twice a day. And it's as effective as D DMSA protocols. So um, I'm so happy with this. And, you know, it's why the information I want to share with everybody. Um, Caroline, are, mm -hmm. you, are you sure that's not DMSO? DMSO, sorry, DMSO. Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. sorry. Okay. Yeah. And, by, and by the way, for the listeners, please, um, please know that um, I'm an affiliate with Root Brand. Um, I'm a friend of Clayton. I've done a video about three months ago with Clayton. And you can go back and have a look at that on my channel. And you'll see an affiliate link there. You can get these um, zeolites. They are the highest performing zeolites on the market. And what Caroline is showing here is how this particular brand zeolite can chelate and detox you from these disgusting heavy metals. Thank you. Yeah, no, well said, exactly. And I think the beauty of the Clean Slate product also is that it has the sea minerals in it. So it's going to be replacing because heavy metals tend to latch on to sites um, where minerals should be. And that's why we end up with mineral imbalances when we heavy metal load is, you know, heavy. So um, it, it's got everything in it and, and some vitamin C, but it's just um, a great product. So looking at just talking about Clean Slate under the microscope, um, when I looked at clean slate under the microscope, you know, we talk about you know, the macrocosm and the microcosm. To me, it's like space, but, you know, inverted it, at such a uh, micro level. Um, this little, this is the largest uh, crystal that I found in the solution. You can see that you get very small crystals and medium sized ones. And this one was the most beautiful crystal. So I, I photographed it. It's like Starship Enterprise, you know, the colors that come off it are just awesome. Um, but something really magical happened with this actual product because I know Dr. Christina Ram, she formulates these products in such a way where she uses um, uh, practices, you know, as fracking and harmonics and frequency. So it, it is a very special product in that respect because uh, she was aware of what was about to happen in the world before it happened. And uh, so looking at the product, when you first put it on the slide, this is what you see, um, just all different size particles. And I actually left this product for about a couple of hours and I came back to it. And I noticed that all these lines had started to appear. And I thought that's unusual. I've never seen that before. It's not something I see in life blood analysis is what I usually examine under the microscope. And then there were these sort of patterns like, I don't know, some harmonics, um, all very different. And if we went in for close magnification with these lines, you can see that these lines started to join up the, the larger crystals. And again here, you can see these are the lines magnified. And I did a little recording here. I'll just play it because it became, the, the longer I left it, the more lines, the more crystals lined up. It was quite fascinating. So we talk about anything at the quantum level you know, has an intelligence. And it was almost like I was watching something intelligent. So I'll just play this little video. Okay, so this is at 200 times magnification. I just wanted to show you. So I put the clean slate on the slide um, probably about three hours ago and I left it. And I've come back and I can see that um, all these lines seem to have formed, which I don't really understand. And um, all the beautiful zeolite crystals follow the line. Can you see? They seem to want to be on the line. <laughs> 
See the line I'm talking about, this one here? And there they go, they're on the line. I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's like this, it's a structured line they've created. And they're just so beautiful. I just thought, I took 10 drops myself this morning. And I almost cried because I thought, this is inside me. And they're this beautiful ultraviolet blue light emanating from these crystals. I just thought it was so special. Look, can you see? The lines. <laughs> and then when the line comes to an end, sometimes you just zoom across to another line and then they're going. See if we can come to that. See if this comes to an end. So you can yeah, see. So we've come oh. to an end of the line here. Can you see the sign? So there's nothing above, oops, sorry, nothing above there, apart from that little one. So if we just go over here. And up we go another line, and off we go again. And here, and there are the lines. Yeah, sorry about that. The video seemed to freeze. Um, yeah, but you got this is nearly finished. Awesome. Yeah, I've just got a bit of a freezing of the video here there we go yeah so it's very unusual and when we did speak to dr christina ram about that she was explaining that um the way that she's made this product um you know the psycho like top secret formula in a way she's done some you know special things to it that makes it different from other zeolite products um with frequencies and and sound etc so she wasn't surprised to see to see that under the microscope microscope and explains that in more detail herself so you know this has been the journey with clean slate so you know if anyone wants to detox their body with heavy metals this is you know definitely one that they should have in their um you know in their in their cabinet um in their toolbox i should say um to help themselves um you know especially in this day and age because um I've been you know, very blessed to be working with different companies over the last couple of years, um, looking at different things, different pro products and how they interact, interact with blood um, and a uh, product, which is actually um, a vitamin D capsule. Somebody again had posted online that uh, there was a mag the outside of the capsule was magnet. Oh, sorry, magnetized. So I ordered this product from Australia because I couldn't get it in New Zealand, in fact. And um, I put, I did the same process as I did to the antibiotic capsule, dissolved it, and I found these magnetized particles, but they were different from the antibiotic capsules. Um, I'm just, my, my computer seems to have just frozen a little bit here. Let's see if I can get the, the image up. Here we go. So, whoops. This image is a video I'll play you. Um, this is the magnetized particles from a vitamin D capsule. Now, <laughs> we shouldn't be having any magnetized particles inside a vitamin D capsule. And this was the most odd looking video, to be honest. So I was mm -hmm. again moving the magnets above the slide. Okay, we, I think we've got a slight technical problem. <laughs> the videos are playing in a very odd way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's still just jolting a bit, but these are very flexible. And they moved almost like in a dance motion when I was moving the magnet.
So, you know, we don't always know what we're getting in some of the supplements that we're taking is what I'm, what I really want to demonstrate. You can see how I'm moving it. And we've got to be very discerning of the brands that we choose these days, because a lot of the pharmaceutical, the nutraceutical brands have been taken over by Big Pharma. And there's no reason on earth why we should have magnetized particles in the capsule from a vitamin D capsule at all. In fact, um, whatever the substance is, be it um, iron oxide, if that is mixed with vitamin D, those two together are very toxic. So, um, yeah, just to be very careful. And again, you know, looking at solutions to help try and remove these things from our body, um, they, they really shouldn't be. <laughs> We shouldn't be ingesting such things. Um, but that was quite fascinating to see. The video didn't play it very well, but it was just moving like a ballet dance. And then when I left that solution for a little while, I came back to it, um, I noticed that they all disappeared. And I was thinking, where have they all gone? And I had to search around the slide and they'd all been, they all became very attracted to each other and they all gathered at one end of the slide, which I found quite interesting as well. I can't really talk to that because I don't know what it was um, or what it's doing. But if, if that was happening in the body, um, then that wouldn't be um, very beneficial for, for us going forward. Can you see that message on my screen? Yes. Okay. I think, yeah. There we go. Okay, so... Um, what else would I like to show with you? I've also got some images of um, some blood, if my computer would allow me. <laughs> so I just wanna show you some comparisons. When we're looking at blood, for example, under the microscope, these are red blood cells, the little bubbles you can see. And this little fella here is a uh, neutrophil, is a white blood cell, they're the, they're the main white blood cell, the first line of defense for an invading um, bacteria that enters our system. And when we're looking at red blood cells, we want them to be all roughly the same shape and size. And the outside of the, the, the membrane edge will be, have a highly negative charge. And, um, sorry, I don't know, let's get rid of that. Um, so the cells will be bouncing off each other. And we want to have a nice smooth membrane as well. And this is how the blood flows, you know, and delivers oxygen and nutrients and takes away waste products and do what it's supposed to do for us, basically. Now, people have asked me, um, have I looked at the blood of people who've had, um, you know, the intervention over the last couple of years? And I just wanted to show you what blood can look like. <laughs> this was taken at the site of the intervention um, in the upper arm. And you can see that these red blood cells are no longer have a smooth, beautiful membrane edge. Um, this is obviously mixing in a very toxic soup in that area because this person's arm was very swollen. Okay. Um, it's just affected, the, the red blood cells are affected by this um, toxicity. So, um, and then looking at the peripheral blood sample as well at the time, um, it wasn't just at the site, it was going around the body, the red blood cells were affected all around the body. So, um, and looking at quite a few different people's bloods under the microscope, again, this is another example. This is very, very typical of a lot of people who have taken the intervention. Um, it affects what's called the zeta potential of the blood, where you know the blood is a colloidal solution, and um, the red blood cell should have that net negative charge on the outside. And when there's an element of toxicity within the system, then the blood will lose that charge and start to clump together. And this is a lot of what has been seen, you know, around the world. Um, and this is just another example um, of some uh, poor chap as well. Um, and this is what we call a lot of fibrin formation here in the background, which is showing that there's um, these are acute phase proteins from the liver. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of stress in the system, and these acute phase proteins, this fibrinogen, is quite sticky. So again, that adds you know, contributes to the stickiness of the blood. And then we may have as also we can see some platelet budding here as well. And you know this these three things together when we get this rouleau, we call it when we get the stacking of the red blood cells. 
um, the C-reactive protein or the fibrinogen sort of inflammation marker really, and the platelet budding, then we can we mark that between one and five and work out how severe it is. And if all we're at five, then we've got some kind of thrombotic condition going on. Um, so, you know, it's uh, just quite interesting to show people um, these images. Um, but obviously there are solutions out there. And as I've said, you know, the root brand clean state is one of them to, to try and remove some of this toxicity from your system. Um, and also um, taking what's called the Trinity, which is the root brand uh, clean slate, the uh, zero in and uh, the restore. And together, those three products, after taking them, have been shown to bring down all the all the inflammation markers, the pro BMP marker, which is the heart inflammation marker, C reactive protein marker, and most importantly the D dimer marker, which everyone is pretty much aware of now, which is to do with microclotting, which is what we're seeing here is microclotting. So you know there are solutions out there. There are a number of solutions, and it's just really important that. Um, people are aware of, of what's going on and how, how they can help themselves. By the um, way, by the way, listeners, I have at my channel, Mr. U um, excuse me, my website, not channel, universaltruthschool.com. I have an affiliate link to the root brand. You can get their three products. They will help immensely with this toxicity. Please go to that affiliate link and um as caroline says that is the master uh cleanser of these these things so i will put a link to that at the bottom of the video okay yeah perfect thank, thank you for mentioning that because um um we can't get this root brand here in mexico and I've been very, very lucky just to have, I've been very lucky just to have um, uh, sampled it. And it was great. I only had enough for a month and it was really great. Right. I'm still trying to get my hands on this root brand. But because I've got tens and tens of friends who swear by it, um, mm. I, I have been backing this brand for about three or four months now. Yeah. No, I mean, it of course, you know, it is the brand to back right now because we know the ingredients are 100% pure and clean. We know that um, also looking at the company per se, the, the, the formulator, you know, the owner, um, Dr. Christina Ram and um, Clayton, um, the ethos of the company is pure. You know, they come from the correct, you know, side, as it were. And they're doing this, they put this together for humanity. They're aware of what was about to happen. Yes. So, uh, you know, and you can, you can feel it for anyone who's, who's awake and, um, you know, is in touch with their intuition. You can feel it. I'm not just trying to push brands on anybody or say anything. I just, I truly believe in this because I've worked with the product myself. So, um, and I, the, the only reason I'm on here today is to show people what's going on in the world, you know, through what I've discovered and to try and offer solutions without, you know, showing people and scaring people. Um, the other thing I do is besides live blood analysis is dry blood analysis. And this gives us another picture. So we're talking about heavy metal toxicity, for example, just seeing these, um, the lines on the outside of a, a blood sample, you know, running through um, shows an element of heavy metal toxicity within this particular client. So you're able to look at things slightly differently with dry blood analysis. Um, and, you know, for example, when we see things like this, these what we call viral spikes, you know, if someone's got an active viral uh, how do we say that? I wouldn't say it's an infection. I, I do believe that, you know, viruses um, are your body detoxing. Um, but we will show um, that it does show up on dry blood analysis if you're dealing with something um, in such a way. And we can see other things as well, inflammation markers um, and bowel patterns, etc. So it's just another way of looking at yourself. And that's just another um, another thing that I do to try and help people get to the root cause of their problems. Um, yeah, so I think we, we've kind of gone through everything that I wanted to show um, show you today. Um, but I just want to leave you with one other thing because 
with the work that I've been doing, I've just been so blessed. And, um, you know, product companies have been coming to me to ask me to look at product for all different reasons, you know, down to even like EMF protection devices and how that interacts with blood. And it's been quite fascinating um, to do all these different tests. Um, but another company asked me to look at um, a flower remedy under the microscope and to see what we find, you know, if we've got any pretty molecules or just, you know, what, what we're going to see so they can use the images maybe for marketing or whatever. And uh, if this computer will allow me to play the video to you, um, I captured a moment in time where um, if we, if anyone's aware of Dr. Bruce Lipton's work, we, he tells you that, you know, particles basically a spinning vortex of energy, you know, and that energy has a frequency and that energy has a color, you know, and we can kind of see that in the root brand crystals, for example. Um, but I saw these spinning molecules and one of the molecules seemed to have 100% intention, like a consciousness. And we talk about the quantum level and the thing at the quantum level has its own consciousness, you know, it's a microcosm. So I just want to play you this video and you'll see that there's one, one molecule that comes back to investigate another molecule. Now this, this solution has come out of a bottle, a flower remedy bottle that was sent to me, you know, through the post of a number of other flower remedies. You wouldn't expect to see any life, would you, <laughs> as such. But when we see things at the quantum level, we see intelligence in life. So I just want to leave this with you. So these are little, part, all different shaped particles, different sizes. Now this one moving around is not going with the flow. I'm sure you'd agree. He goes, this part, the one there in the middle is just stopped. So he's, he keeps coming back to investigate him. He's almost hovering like a spacecraft, you know, doing his own yeah. thing. Yeah. It was just, honestly, it's the most amazing video. And I was thinking, he's going to bump into him. Boom, he bumped into him. <laughs> and the video's frozen. <laughs> he didn't stay for long. He decided after that to, to move off. But... Honestly, it just so moved me, this video, because there we go, he, he went off. But he he came and he went and he investigated. And for me, that's just phenomenal. And it just shows that when we look at things under the microscope, we get to see life in a totally different way. And I, I feel so, you know, as I keep saying, I feel so blessed with the work that I do, because I see things that a lot of people wouldn't get the opportunity to see. And it just helps make sense of what, what, you know, what's going on in the world. So, yeah, I just wanted to leave that with you. Thanks, Caroline. You did do another video, which introduced me to your work. I saw it a month ago. You were with, um, oh, what's her name from Root Brand? Uh, Dr. Dory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were with the group from, from Root Brand, and I was so happy to see that Root Brand was helping. So yes. once again, I'm not here to plug products, guys. I, the only, I have about six or seven products I have at universaltruthschool.com and they are the best product, protocols that I know of because I am suffering from heavy metal toxicity. I know that from blood tests, from Skyo, biofeedback machines, etc. I know that. So yes. I am in the position to support what Caroline is saying here and with products. So the root brand, I will put the link below the video and you can go ahead and, and, and get that uh, because I can't get it here in Mexico. So bless you if your country can accept this brand because um, you're gonna need it. As the days get more and more polluted, you're going mm -hmm. to need it. So 
For now, I'd like to thank you so much, Caroline, for being so kind to share this, um, um, these discoveries with us. And hopefully you'll reach the right people because many people are suffering mm -hmm. these days. And all yeah. I want is for people to have good health and prosperity and peace in their lives. So yeah, 100%. It's just been, um, you know, grateful that I can come on and just reach some people out there who who needed to see this. So yeah, really happy. Thank you. Yeah. Blessings to you. Blessings to all the people out there listening. And uh, hopefully this um, this has been some some sort of help to you. And uh, it will be a, a way for you to initiate your cleansing, uh, the cleansing of your temple so that um, you'll be in, the, in a better space. Because my word, I'm telling you, Caroline, I, I, every day I've got people telling me horror stories of what yeah. they're going through, you know, blood clotting, um, toxicity, can't sleep, can't rest, yeah. uh, emotional disturbances, mental disturbances. Uh, things have changed and we yeah. have, we have to put on a fight and uh, and to protect ourselves for yeah. our, own, our own health sakes i'm doing i'm doing so many protocols in fact while you were talking i i, I did a few, i won't mention what i what i've been doing but I've, I've been spraying myself i've been drinking stuff i've been constantly on on all day long 24 hours protocols 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 yeah i think it's become that now we do need to clean our bodies up we are being attacked by you know the air land sea and uh we, we've got to have our armory food everything we've just got to be so discerning with what we put in our mouths um and you know what we use on our skin and just on a daily basis as long as we're doing something on a daily basis um, it'll help us. But for those people who have taken the intervention, they really need to be looking quite seriously at, at cleaning themselves up 100%. And the heavy metals is the first place to look at. Urgently. Yeah. Urgently. Urgent. Yeah. Thank you, dear yeah. sister. Thank you for your hard work and contributions. Um, if you do come across anything more, let me know and we'll do another 15, 20 minute um, video. Yeah, perfect. Well. Keep people up. Yeah, there. definitely. All right. 100%. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too. Thank you. Take, take care, sister. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.